Hello everyone, this is Joseph K, and welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss, 100%. In the last part, we got introduced to our character, Luke Fabra, and we met his gardener, Pear, we met, I guess it's his best friend, Guy, and we walked around the castle, manor, mansion, whatever the hell this place is, we walked around and we are told that our teacher, whatever, Van is here, so... Let's go and see Van now. Let's go this way because we went the other way already and let's go this way. And we actually want to go south, but before we go south, let's uh, go up here. Duke and Madame Fabra's chamber. Hey, how's it going? Do you get mad at Faber in the drawing room? I'm cleaning their chamber. Oh, yeah? So why don't we help you? Get a hundred gold! Yes! Let's rob our parents! What kid has not done that? Me. The flowers have to be taken good care of. Mad at Faber always praises my work, so I enjoy it as well. Yep, of course we have to rob our parents. We are an entitled... Jagoff, so yeah. All right, now let's go south. And let's uh, see what's going on. You wanted to see me, Father? Hmm. Have a seat, Luke. Hey, Master Van. Do I get to train with you today? We'll have time for that later. First, we have to talk about something. Dorian General Grants is returning to Doth tomorrow. Huh? Why? You know that I am a member of the Oracle Knights, part of the Order of Lorelei. You're their commandant, right? Right. As the leader of the Knights, it's my duty to provide protection for Phone Master Ion. What's a Phone Master Ion? He's the leader of the Order of Lorelei. It's thanks to Ion that the truce between the Malkuth Empire and our kingdom of Kimlaska Landvaldir is in place. If Ion's predecessor, Evanos, is the hero who ended the Hod War, then the current Phone Master is a symbol of the peace that reigns today. Unfortunately, Ion has gone missing. Therefore, I must attend to my duty as an Oracle Knight and join the search for Phone Master Ion. Hold on, you can't do that. If you go back home, who's gonna train me? <laughs> Settle down. I'll have one of my men come here until I return to Kimlaska. But I want you to teach me. Don't be selfish, Luke. Dorian General Grants will return soon enough. It's high time you learn some patience. Please, dear. You know what this child's been through. He's still traumatized from the kidnapping. He even lost his childhood memories, the poor thing. Don't you feel for him? Suzanne, you spoil him. Still, a life locked inside a mansion like this is hardly easy. Seriously? Why does my uncle have to keep me trapped in here? Just because he's the king, he thinks he can just order people around. Makes me mad. Actually, Luke, that's exactly what a king does. Luke, my brother is merely concerned for your safety. Just three more years and you'll be free. Oops, Cheer my up, bad. Luke. We'll train hard enough today to make up for the entire time I'm gone. Duke, Milady, by your leave, we must begin our training. Thank you, Dorian General. I'll head on to the courtyard. Come join me as soon as you're ready. Luke, dear, please do be careful out there. I know, I know. Jeez. Yeah, my bad. I didn't mean to skip her dialogue. I uh, looked... Someone distracted me real quick, and I looked over, and I hit X one because I thought it was done. Anyways, let's get this skit out the way. Man, Master Van's leaving. I hope he comes back after he finds that phone master or whoever. I mean, sword trains the only thing keep me sane around here. 
Oh well. Guy's not too bad with a sword. Guess I'll just practice with him. So I'm not going to be giving voices to every single character in the game. Number one, I don't have a voice range to do all those different voices for everybody. However, what I will do is I will try to keep, keep my voice as close to the originals as possible. And by originals, I mean our party, not so much like the rest of the uh, cast. Dorian General Grants is the Commandant of the Oracle Knights, so it can't be helped that he is busy. It seems as though you will have to forego your training for the time being. Has it already been seven years since your kidnapping? Even though it's His Majesty's will, I'm still sorry to have to force you to stay inside like this. Uh, he says the same thing. You know, I wish you'd give up on slaying the sword. Please be careful. And she says the same thing. Uh, yeah. I think that's good. All right. I could have got a little bit more in in the last part, but it, the video was already at 20 minutes, so sorry if that video didn't seem like there was much done in it. I did show you some items, though, so at least something got accomplished. And introduce you to the characters. Let's talk to this guy. Good morning, Master Luca. Maid is currently cleaning the Duke's chamber. Though Madame Faber is the younger sister of the king, she still speaks even to me. Okay. I guess it's, uh... Out of the ordinary. I see. Sounds like the Oracle Knights have it pretty rough. I'll have to leave everything to you for the time being. The Duke, the King, and Luke's... Ah! Master Luke! Guy, what's up? Well, Van's a Master Swordsman, so I thought I'd ask for a little instruction. Really? That's not what it looked like to me. What the... Something's coming. What's going on? Who's this? She looks kind of familiar. I didn't get a good look at her face. I don't know who she is. Luke, did you not hear me? Huh? Oh, right. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I guess I'll just watch from over here. Let's see what you got, Luke. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Are you ready, Luke? We'll start with the basics. Yes, Master. First, movement. Move forward or back by pushing the left stick, left or right. All right. Now we're in a little bit of training, so you can... Uh... Right. Press the menu button when you're ready to go on. So basically, very self-explanatory, you've been doing this. Go left, go right. You can also alternately use left and right on the D-pad. Space between you and your enemy is important in battle. Watch the conditions and respond. Well, I All right. actually doubt there will ever be any need for you to fight. <laughs> I want to show off some cool moves outside. This is not something for you to show off. Next, attacks. Perform normal attacks with the attack button. Normal attacks will change when combined with the left stick. Slash with the attack button. Press it and move the left stick left or right to slash up. Press it and move the left stick up to attack enemies in the air. Attack a wide area by moving the left stick down and pressing the attack button. That about covers it. Now then, attack that dummy there just as you always do. A training dummy again? Oh, all right. All right, so so there's your regular attack. Your attack uh, kind of like slashes a little bit or slices when you push towards the, uh, the direction of the way you're fighting. And then, of course, you can do an upwards attack if you hit up and then down. 
that gives you the most uh, the most bang for your combos. If you're try if you're one of the people who actually enjoys like multiple combos with this, then that's exactly how it's done for you. All right, I think that's about it. Let's go on to the next thing. If faced with enemies in the air or surrounding you, you will need to change as the situation demands. Never forget that. That's all for basic attacks. We'll move on to defense next. You know, Master? What? I've always wondered, can't I just take out an enemy before it can attack? Are you saying you could defeat me, Luke? Uh, no, I just... So you understand that defense is important. That dummy will attack at regular intervals. Try to defend with the guard button. Yeah, yeah, I know. Nope, sorry, Luke. Unfortunately, in this game, I don't think you're able to actually do stealth attacks. Where you can come on in and uh, attack from behind before they do that. But yeah, just go up to the enemy, guard them. That's, that's easy. Defense is very important in battle. You will learn new defensive skills as you battle more. Yes, sir. Finally, we'll move on to arts. Are you ready, Luke? I've been waiting for this. I'm ready anytime you are. Perform arts with the art button. I taught you Fang Blade. Do you remember? Yes, Master. Good. Then try it. All right. Fang Blade! And now we're moving on to art. So, <clears throat> basically, in the Tales of... Oh, okay, can I... I can't talk? You Fine. You it well. That art is yours to use. Alright, are you done talking, Van? Alright, as I was saying, basically in the Tales of series, you have your regular attacks and you have your arts attacks. Uh, in some games in the Tales series, you have, like, regular arts and burst arts. And here, you have phonic arts and strike arts, I believe is what is given in here. But we'll get into phonic arts much later in the game. Uh, well, maybe not much later, but definitely we'll get into phonic arts within the next few parts. Alright. Alright, thank you, Master. You can perform combos by combining arts with normal attacks. Cool. All right, this is the end. Use the attack button and art button to perform a combo of four hits or more. Yes, Master. All right. One, two, three, art. There you go. Good work. Oh, you will probably learn new arts as you gain more experience in battle. But Van, didn't you just say there's probably never ever going to be any need for us to ever fight ever in our lives? Huh. Seems like you know more than you're letting on. You can set them in the arts menu. Then you can combine the left stick with the art button to perform a variety of arts. New arts. Oh shit, I skipped it again. God damn it. I gotta stop doing that. What's that? That voice. I... I can't move. That's a phonic hymn. Has a seventh phonist invaded the manor? Damn it. It's putting me to sleep. What the hell are the guards doing? Uh, they might be sleeping. If it's putting you to sleep. I finally found you, Van Destelka. Prepare to die, traitor. Tear. I knew it. Who the hell are you? No, stop! Resound. The will of Lorelei shall reach you. And open the way. Not that weird voice again. The seventh phonon? Ah! <laughs> Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off the again. The seventh phonons have reacted with each other. Luke, wake up. Wake up, Luke. Who are you? Oh, good. You're okay. Where are we? I don't know. That was pretty strong. I almost thought we'd been caught in the planet storm. Wait, that's right. 
you were trying to... Planet Storm? What the hell is a Planet Storm? Ow. Stop. Don't try to move so suddenly. Are you injured? Where does it hurt? Show me on this dial where he touched you. I mean, I mean, yeah. I, I'm fine. What I want to know now is what the hell happened? And who are you? I'm Tyr. It would seem that a hyper-resonance occurred between us. A hyper-resonance? What's that? An isophone-induced resonance. I didn't expect you to be a seventh phonist, too. That was careless of me. That would explain why the royal family is protecting you. Ah, shut up for a second. I don't understand a thing you're saying. Well, say something. First you tell me to shut up. Now you're telling me to talk. <laughs> Let's save the discussion for later. You don't seem to know anything. Talking here would be a waste of time. So what are we gonna do now? I'll escort you back to your manor in Batacol. How? We don't even know where we are. You see the sea just over there, don't you? So that's what the sea looks like. At any rate, let's head out of this ravine and down to the coast. If we can find a road, there should be carriages passing along. We should be able to find a way back. And just how are we supposed to get to the sea from here? Stop and listen. You hear that water flowing? There's a river. If we follow the river, we should come out to the sea. Huh. Is that how it works? Let's go. More party members! But where the hell exactly are we? Find out next time on Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. This is Joseph K. signing out. Y'all have a great day and keep it real. Later!